While most stories begin by turning the pages of a book, our story today begins by entering the mouth of Monstro the Whale. Whale, whale, whale must say whale is small of Pinocchio. But do not fear, my friends, as he will not be digesting us today. He is rather transporting us to the magical world of Storybook Land. If you thought Monstro the Whale was scary, prepare to look to your left, where we can find the cave of the Big Bad Wolf. But do not fear for those three little pigs as they are just across the way. One in a house made of straw, one in a house made of stick, and one in a house you guessed it made of guaranteed wolf proof rings. Around the corner on our left, we can find the quaint English village of Alice from Alice in Wonderland. One day, Alice decided to follow that white rabbit down. Down, down the rabbit hole all the way to Wonderland. Where things only became curiouser and curiouser. And if Wonderland is not your cup of tea, then we can look over to our right, where we can find London Park, over which Peter Pan, Wendy, Michael, and John Darling flew all the way to Neverland, with the help of a little bit of pixie dust from our good friend Tinkerbell. Up ahead, we can find the enchanting world of Agrabah, home of a street rat named Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. When they're loving, make sure you remain seated, princess. Make sure you remain seated, okay? When they're loving the help of an all-powerful blue genie, they were able to defeat Jamar Quetta and still live in the palace on our right to this very day. But prepare yourselves, my princess. These are about to get romantic, as we are now passing under the rosy, twinkling archways of which Aladdin and Jasmine flew over sideways and under. On a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. <laughs> While most stories here in Storybook Land begin with light and magic, some begin with darkness and mystery, such as the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Legend tells us if you set the whole powerful genie free from his itty bitty land, he will grant you three and only three magical wishes. Let's all close our eyes in the cave of wonders and make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White wished to escape from the grasps of the evil queen. Luckily, coming across the forest, got a on our right home of the seven little dwarves. You can even see their mine up above where they whistle while they work. And Cinderella wanted more than anything to be able to go to the ball. Luckily, the fairy godmother went bippity boppity boo and sent her straight there. But when she left after the last stroke of midnight, her carriage turned into a pumpkin. But do not worry for her, my friends, as she still lives in the castle atop the hill, making some delicious pumpkin pie with the wonderful Prince Charmy. In fact, we dreamers here in Storybook Land dream of the most wondrous of things, such as the quilted hills of flowers on our left from the 1933 Silly Symphony, Lullaby Land. Some of you may even be asking yourselves a question, Blake, how could you possibly keep all of these plants so small? Well, I just the answer for you. I have a magical gardener friend by the name of Miss Tinkerbell. She comes in and sprinkles her pixie dust all over the plants to make sure they never grow up. Walt Disney was a huge fan of this ride in particular because it inspires the lives of storytellers such as yourselves. And speaking of storytellers, coming up on our left, we can find Toad Hall. <laughs> Home of our friends Mole Rat and Mr. Toad. But I am so sorry, my friends, as unfortunately Mr. Toad is not currently home right now. As he's off just across the way in Fantasyland on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. But beyond it all, we can find Arendelle, home of the one, the only Princess Anna. For with the help of her friends Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven, they were able to teach her sister Elsa to just let it go! <laughs> and up ahead we can find the Alpine village of Gebetto, 
Jeff though is Stefan a star for his puppet Pinocchio to become a real boy. And after an encounter with Monstro the Whale, the Blue Fairy friends did just that wish for them. We can even spot Oaken's trading posts on our left. I wonder if he's offering us any big summer blowout today. Let's all wish him a friendly hello, you'll lose.